Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode 5 of Shogun. We're going to go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're coming to the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote about movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-scenes footage, You're trying to make it worth your while since you're going to be a support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. Please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode 5 broken to the fist oh my god <laughs> what a way to open oh stampede a coming Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 wow. Yeah, we didn't. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't see his body. We didn't see the deed. Oh, no. Yeah, oof. <laughs> Well, we uh we may have committed an oopsie. <笑>なんか取れながら大老子したことで断崖的なくなったのは誠に無念じゃ。石の They'll never be able to agree on somebody they want to even share this court with. Oh my lord, look at all of that. Oh no. <laughs> <笑>いささかの疑いも持たらんとか。上前を餌で釣らねば動かぬ横着者もおる。人を操り、獲物目がけて飛ばす術を身につけよう。そのため Oh wow. I love that whole like breakdown and the comparison to, you know, the whole falconry element of it all. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, he made a hasty and kind of dumb decision. <laughs> the most precious gift there is. You see that? I do my part and the old man does his. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we'll hang it up for a few days to mature, maybe a week. This next part is very important. No one is to touch this bird. Kinzuru, sawatara, shinu. A little extreme. I don't know what I'm doing. 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 I don't know what I'm <laughs> Odd enough, if I remember right, I don't think he had anything to do with it. It was just his nephew. It's the kids trying to like play around everybody else's maneuvers. 
あの日の前夜長門殿とお酒を酌み交わしておりました我が親の言葉であらぬ考えが浮かんだのでございましょう拙者が虎長様に代わって懲らしめておきまするあ懲らしめると何故敵を誘い出す妙案を編み出してくれた末頼もしき若武者をわしが懲らしめねばならんのじゃキャツらの本陣たる大坂で兵を挙げておればわしの負けは火を見るより明らかであっただが追いご殿のおかげでキャツらの方から討ち入れてここにおる我らを責めるよりほかのうなったのじゃおっしゃる通りにございますそれがしも同じことを考えておりました Oh shut your mouth 追いご殿に伝えよ本陣と鍛錬しておる大砲隊の采配を任せると See, by doing that, it kind of pries his, his allegiances away from his uncle. Ojue, Moshi Gosho Modareva, Taihotaiwa, Ojue, and you always read us. Motomoto Washi Mono, there are Taihotaio. Yeah, there it is. Toranago Kanjo Miskero. All this right here is a manipulation. I understand your husband is to stay with us now. Is there anything you feel like should be preparing for? <laughs> and you will be a gracious host. He has such like a lost puppy vibe to him, you know? Tell Toda-sama it's a relief he was able to escape Ozaka and an honor for him to have observed our cannon regiment today. He believes that in the hands of a true samurai, the bow and sword will always outmatch the cannon. Mm. Oh, perhaps we should have a friendly contest sometime. <laughs> yeah, go out there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Look a little nervous to serve this up. On this wonderful evening, I am proud to present to you taste from my home country. We are particular eaters, Anjin Sama. It is our loss. It's not the same without sharing, anyway. There you go. All that to waste. My husband comments on the way you eat your noodles. The sound you make while eating reveals the depth of your pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I come from, only women drink from a tiny cup like that. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Fuji's face. <laughs> They've made dinner a competition. Good job. Oh god. What how is this gonna turn out? Gonna be shit faced. <laughs> would like to know about a war you have fought in. Ah, oh, I don't know. Well, my war stories are full of holes. Please listen. My husband is tired and has had a lot to drink. You must tell him a story. <laughs> but choose your words carefully. <laughs> the gateway of your house. He asks you to choose a post. Oh, man, can't even see straight. Please. Choose. Right. Move. Move. Yeah, this was in the trailer. Marikosama, get out of the fucking way. Please tell him that while I understand that in this country, like mine, a man's wife is. His property, but I believe strongly that his wife merits better. Sareto Anjin Sama, Tsuma, I want to teach you how to cut the way you can 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 cut 
was Kurodasama ruler of Japan before the Taiko. Kurodasama was corrupt and murderous, and so my father killed him out of love for the realm. For this, he was hunted along with my family, all of my brothers, sisters, and my mother. They all knelt before my father, who was forced to execute them one by one before committing seppuku himself. I was just married and not permitted to fight. Each year, on the anniversary of my family's murder, I asked my husband to let me take action against this injustice, but I can do nothing because my husband. Jesus. Just meet today. I ask you to remember the eightfold fence. Excuse me. Who is the one who is going to do this? Mariko! Alright, yeah, wh what a dickhead, man. Oh. Get out of the way. Man, man, what the fuck? Don't shut up! Look at me! Yeah, I mean, he just feels like she's such a stain on his life after what her father did and all this shit. She treats her like trash. Oh, what are you doing? Get up! Some of the Yashiki no. Well, there those the arrows from last night. God damn. Oh, wow. Frame somebody. Hmm. Where's I don't understand anything you're saying. Where is she? <laughs> like, please, can we get this fucker out of here? All of this is my doing. Mariko, some of your husband's brutality is no fault of yours. We should not be seen together. Ah, oh, the pox on that. Don't put it behind that folded fence of yours, whatever you call it. I, I, I see you. Your swords. Fujisama believes they were given to our father as a battle honor. The truth is he died a coward begging for his life. Her grandfather bought them from a drunken samurai for three bags of rice to spare her the embarrassment. But she knows nothing and we say nothing. Because our silence oh, is wow. what she merits. I will give my husband nothing. Not even my hatred. Because that is what he merits. It's a good story. Mariko Sama and I understand the sentiment, but you take it too far. Honestly, shuffling around with your manners and your buried self for what? Oh, forgive me, but you'd die to avenge your father. You'd live in anguish to spite your husband. Which is it? What becomes of you? My life is mine, and yours is yours. If you can't see that, you'll never be free of this prison. No, Anjin Sama. It is you who is imprisoned. If freedom is all you ever live for, you will never be free of yourself. What? I will honor my duty as your translator, but from this day forward, the only words we share will be from other's lips. Oh, wow. It's a, such a sticky situation. I... I get where she's coming from all at the same time. It just doesn't make it any less shitty. What's the matter with everyone? <laughs> Old bastard should get a medal just for being able to climb up there. <laughs> it's fine. Ujiro, Yoroshi, yondekite. Ujiro wa shinimashita. Oh. Shinimashita. Did he... Goshite. Did he, because of the act? So he... He did it for them, but knew that he thought he had to literally himself after. You put that old man to death over a stinking God cursed pheasant. And that was your words. What the hell is wrong with you? Unfortunately. Why in Christ's name didn't you ask me? Go away. All of you! God, man. That's 
so bad. When we were at sea, we discussed my training your army in European combat. I feel I have now fulfilled that duty. I ask that my ship and my men be returned to me so that I may leave. <laughs> he asks what Yeah, about him. that. I'm troubled by your whole damn country. Life has no value to you. Only the meaningless rituals you're trapped in. Like Wujiro, who died for nothing. It is my understanding that you ordered no one to touch that bird. The bird meant nothing to me. Your words gave it meaning. A meeting was called with Miraji. He was the village headman, but he determined it was a house problem, so someone had to steal it and bury it. And Wijiro announced that he had been sick lately, so he volunteered. He died for a great purpose. It was a better end than he could have hoped for. Oh, I killed him. Mm. Oh, forgive me, I killed that old man. There is no use dwelling on what cannot be undone. How can you believe that? We live and we die. We control nothing beyond that. Uh-oh. Uh Earthquake. Oh, whoa! Landslide. Holy shit, just out of nowhere like that. I mean, that's how that happens, but still. Father, they may not be much, but I'd be honored if he would accept this gift. <laughs> oh, my! Oh, my! No, holy shit! All of that army. The village. This could have just been happenstance, right? What? That's just so... If that is literally just bad luck. That was right through the camp. That was right through Toronaga. It just seems so targeted. Oh, no. Okay. But the garden and the rock, the fresh rock. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, putting it on the gardener. Yeah, they'll stop looking. Oh, I wonder if that's why he volunteered to do the bird thing. Was that a choice? I mean, obviously he volunteered. Uh, he was already sick. I mean, he presumed he was gonna die of that anyway. Was it more than just, well, let's go out this way and more of a service thing. He knew that meant death. He knew what that would mean, what taking that action would bring upon him. I don't know. What the fuck? A new fighter has entered the ring. What the hell, dude? Much like the whole lesson about the Falcon with the unintended consequences of his son's actions. You know, much like that, in a very different way, uh, Blackthorn has experienced that himself. He put that out into the world. He gave his words to them. And for this people that take honor 
and duty and all this so seriously. He thought nothing of it. That's the thing. You know, we, we throw around things all the time, hyperbolize, you know, we're sarcastic, and that can go completely unawares by a lot of other cultures and places and people and stuff like that because there's no concept of it or it's just hard to distinguish that and especially between language barriers and stuff like that those were the only words he knew to convey what he wanted he's like don't don't touch it please don't touch it but when he's like don't touch it touch die <laughs> that was your command and then when it got so bad that the town itself was demanding somebody exercise this damn bird he was like well i'm sick anyway let me do my duty, break my uh, instruction, and I'll give my life for that. Now, I don't know if it was shared with him when he volunteered that he would be the patsy for Tornaga, because that could give that death a little more meaning than what it would just be just to get the bird. We don't know. We haven't revealed that that conversation ever happened, but you know, they planned, or I don't know if they even planned it. That could have just been a, a convenience. That they just placed the blame on him, you know, leaving all that evidence at his establishment, at his home, to be found after the landslide. I don't know how much of that was orchestrated or just done on the fly, or if, if, if he had not done that, would they have just picked anybody randomly? I'm not exactly sure. However, had he been found out, had he been alive, had he survived everything, he would have been put to death by... Uh, Yabushiga as well so like there was no out for whoever got picked on that so I, I I would have to imagine it was probably part of the plan still the fact that the that it was a result that it happened in the way that it happened was because of the words he spoke into existence to the people running his house just has no attachment to life all the glory comes in death comes in service comes in all that and there's a lot of cultures that are very much so like that. You know, how are you remembered? But then again, they're talked about, you know, he was refusing to share his stories, his war stuff, like, because obviously boasting can be viewed as rude. And he wasn't about to do that. And he's like, stories are for children and boasting isn't honorable. In refute, he asked for, well, I'd share some of your stories. And then it just kind of escalated from there. There are some contradictory elements to all of this kind of posturing that goes on. If you're not experiencing the world, where, why are you here kind of thing? When she starts getting abused yet again in this house and then she's being punished for the transgressions of her father, she's the only survivor and that was only because she was married of her entire family. She had to watch them all be killed by her father because of his actions. And she survives this because of that. And then he just views her as the stain on his life and she's ordered to live but she doesn't really want to live she's just kind of trapped in the in the back of the recesses of her mind not allowed to ever be out and about and the few times she's gotten to be is in his company but now that has also kind of been been tainted by all of this once again by duty by all these other things and like he's just trying to figure all this out because it is just so alien to him especially with his whole idea. Now, her rebut to, like, his whole freedom thing, you'll never be free of yourself. Like, sure, I guess, but I don't think that came across in the way I think she was hoping, or at least I didn't take it. I was like, that's honestly, I was like, the, guy, the way she said it sounded so dumb to me, <laughs> considering what was being talked about in that moment. You see that he's caring for these people. Like, he's saying he wants to leave, but that's just because now he's he's getting attached. He's seeing how, how self-destructive some elements of their life can be or at least how to him just like he just can't wrestle with or cope with or coalesce with some of the things that he's witnessing that are just normal and accepted here and that's the main reason i think he wants to get out i said aside from that i think he he he, he would be totally fine being here we see him every very much just so uh you know, get along with the people, learning, adapting, like especially with his relationship with Fuji and how that's evolved in his stay. I don't know, man. I don't know. And then these games that are going on in the background, you know, Ishido's failing to get this council under control. They can't agree on a replacement. They can't agree on anything. Then the mother of the heir is coming in here as a gay. Like, hey, what's going on here? Get this shit together. If you all can't do it, 
I'll have to do this shit. I don't know where that's gonna go. It's hard to be, like, I get the frustration of it. Like, nobody says what they really feel or mean. It's literally all posturing for the most part. Like, where's, where's the reality of it all? Other than what you witness, what you see, what cannot be denied. Like, even what they said, the story about the swords that were gifted to him. They know that they were bought. Like, the, everybody else seems to know the truth that her father actually died begging for his life, that those swords were just bought to replace the ones he had lost or whatever. Like, they, there's really no meaning there, but they don't... They never shared that with Fuji. They didn't want to do that to her. I'm remembering that, right? I heard all that, right, right? I don't know. And now those very same swords are now Toranaga's because his got swept away in this landslide. That is just a horrible twist of fate right there, man. For that to happen in that position where all of that, that all those people he just brought down when he went away, went north and came back with all these people for that landslide to almost take his ass out, but to run through that encampment. I don't know how many people probably got swept up in that, but a very, very hefty amount of the forces that he just collected have been wiped out by just nature. Unless, and I don't know how they would even pull that off, it could have been targeted. You know, we have explosives and stuff like that at this time, but something like that would be very difficult to orchestrate. That just had to have been just a bad twist of nature. But it falls back on what Marika was saying. It was like, we live, we die, we control nothing else. And this was another example of that. But after all of that, though, for him to just leap right off the ledge, going after Toranaga and pulling him out, finding his fan, finding his body and digging him up, you know, they couldn't find his swords, but they got him out. He's alive. He can fight. He can keep moving and keep doing what he's here to do, all thanks to him. Like, the moment he was like, he was trying to leave, but the moment he was in danger, he leapt trying to get him back. A part of him is here now. I, I think one of the things, too, is like he was afraid of all of that. You know, the freedom, the being latched down and all this. And so he left his own family, left his daughter. But he didn't really have a relationship with anybody there in this meaningful way, which is sad in its own right. He's been forced to stay here. He's been forced to build these relationships. He's been forced to do all these things. And now things are taking root. At least that's how I, I'm seeing it. But I don't know. We'll see how that all that all unravels. But guys, what did you think of this episode? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're going to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, York, Corey, Scott, Melita, Robert, Anguiano, Jeffrey, L, Jane Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justice Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. Well, that's it for this video, guys. So to see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.